So, I got some more batteries in the mail. These I ordered off eBay. They're from China. They claim to be uh, 5200 milliamps. I was skeptical in buying them. As you can see the size of my hand. I have a fairly large hand. Um, let's see if I can show you something for size. Well, here's a Mastercraft multimeter. About the same height. Anyways, it's a it's reasonably heavy. Now I'll show you guys what's in it. This one uh, I had a bad solder joint on it, so I had to fix it. It's got it's 2P 3S is what the actual configuration is. Oh, I'm sorry, my lens is fogging up. I just gotta uh, find a clean paper towel here. There we go. There, hopefully it's better now. <coughs> I think my breath got on it. Anyways, this video is about uh, 3S LiPos. So 11.1 volts, fully charged is 11 or 12.6 volts, which you can see right here. This is each cell. One cell is a little overcharged, but it's not terrible. 12.5 volts. Going through a pure sine wave inverter, doesn't have to be pure sine wave, it can be modified. But I'm running a 300 watt load, which is this inverter's max load off this tiny little battery. Let's see if it runs it. And it's on. <coughs> if you ever want a really small form factor with a lot of punch to it, 3S LiPos and an inverter is your best bet. You could take this, tape it to the top, put the, these wires directly onto here, so you have no uh, no uh, drop in the in the lines. Maybe put a few of these on top, and you have a nice little uh, uh, contained unit. Anyways, back to this battery. Oh, I gotta wipe the the lens keeps fogging up. I'm just gonna keep this on me. It's because I took it out of a, a nice cold house. It's very damp outside, as you can see, it's raining. So, claimed to be uh, 40 or 5200. I charged it, I got, it charged, uh, I only drained it down to uh, 10.8 volts, and I put 4800 and some odd milliamp hours in, just shy of 4900. So this is a good battery. It's very close to what they rate it. Um, I'm very happy with it. I got it for $39. And uh, <coughs> as you can see, it's running this uh, 300 watt load, no problem. Um, it's not warm, everything seems fine. These clamps aren't really adequate, they're already getting warm. But uh, yeah, it's, it's working quite well. Um, I bought five of these. This one I have, this is what it looks like on the inside. Those are the cells. Oh, that one's already getting overcharged, so I'm going to disconnect this. Because I gotta balance charge it inside now. I got so many of them, I'm using this to charge some of them. It doesn't have a balance feature, but uh, I'm just watching it. As you can see, let's see what it sits at now. Super unbalanced. When I got them, they're really unbalanced. But, uh, yeah, I actually dropped this one. I hope it's going to be okay on this corner here. It indented a little bit, but we'll see if I lost any capacity. See if it's unstable. Just got to be more careful with this one. And these ones are fully charged as well. That one's almost fully charged, and this one is. <coughs> there you go. And that's that. Uh, still running it. Like I said, really like these. They're just starting to get a little warm. Just a little tiny bit warm to the touch. So, but this is a, a 30 amp load on this battery. 30 amps continuous. This is not like, uh, well, I guess this would, could uh, be about the same as flying a quadcopter. Because you'd run two of these. So 60 amps for quadcopter at a fairly high uh, 
discharge rate. And it's not doing bad at all. I actually would uh, recommend these batteries if you can find them. They sell these uh, for a quadcopter. They don't have a name. They're actually just sold as a battery for a specific quadcopter. I can't remember which one it is. But uh, yeah, it works well. I'm very, very happy with them. For 40 bucks, like a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in Canada, I pay uh, about 100 bucks for it. And I got it. You can get higher. See, this is only 20C. But I believe that's high enough for most, uh, most batteries like 20 C that's that's a hundred amps you can, this thing at a hundred amps that's kind of ridiculous for a battery that size but anyways this battery is still at 40 volts it's actually 43.5 volts fully charged this battery I have changed to 12 volts I put this on a trolling motor uh, for the weekend and this is far superior to a lead acid for a trolling motor uh, it held actually 14 volts for, oh, I don't know, like 45 minutes of, of trolling nonstop. And then after that, it held it uh, above 13 volts for about another hour. Then uh, after 13 volts, uh, I found that it was at least 50% discharged and uh, it started falling voltage quicker. Once I hit about 12 volts, I started to kind of fall off the edge. So that would be about 3 volts a cell. Um, but it still had power all the way down to 11 volts. 11 volts is where it really started to give up. Like it was dropping so rapidly I just uh, I stopped using it. But uh, this pack here lasted as long as one of these did. So this is 135 amp hours. And I guess I would say this pack is equal to a close to about 100 amp hours. 12 volts or 14 volts so I'm very 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 happy with this pack I'm waiting for my balance lead to come in right now I'm just uh, individually charging each cell um, but it works really good and uh, this one I might uh, use in some sort of electric bike configuration we'll see see what kind of range I get but uh, I don't have one yet I'm looking at buying one um, there we go. It's shutting off because of uh, low voltage to this thing. Uh, it shuts off at 10.78 volts. Uh, that means at power here is getting below uh, 10.78. Here, obviously, it's going to be higher. There's 11 volts. Yeah, see, it's got 0 0.03 drop in the line. It makes sense. Let's see. Battery is warm not hot in any way like it feels warm to the back of my hand to the front of my hand it, it barely feels warm at all so the only way I can really feel it is with the back of my hand and it pops right back up to 3.8 volts a cell all 11.5 volts that's pretty good I'm uh, I'm really happy with these batteries. Uh, it, obviously, it, it only lasted the length of this uh, video, so that was about eight eight minutes at um, a 30 amp load. <coughs> it still has quite a bit of power left in it, but uh, the the drop in the lines is what gave out uh, first. I think uh, the next test I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these wires directly on there. Anyways, this pack, I believe I'm going to make all five of these sit on top of the inverter. And I'm going to make it all an enclosed unit. Either that, I'm going to add it to my uh, existing uh, LiPo ammo box. And it's going to have uh, about uh, 75 amp hours of capacity with uh, the Go Power inverter. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to keep seeing videos as I post them, uh, subscribe. And uh, like the video, it helps the channel. Thanks a lot.